Hello, this is FRJ Tracing, and I've been kind of uh, on a hiatus for a little bit after the disappointing wing, uh, feedback about wings and how they'll never be reverted to classical flying. However, uh, I went back to the drawing board, and I've been working out these designs for quite a while, and I'm finally to the point where I want to release them to everyone I know on the forums and my friends we have a little group here uh, on discord uh, check out the links in the description uh, I'm gonna be making a robot engineering thread on it and uh, yeah call them roll rockets they have everything you need fully controllable pitch roll and actually in addition to all this you also have controllable yaw now with this particular one I'm showing you it doesn't yaw as much, it more does a, a strafe. Uh, but it also allows for different setups. This one is really good at doing actual barrel rolls. If I uh, see the vapor trail. So there you go. Um, that's one of them. And I have plenty of these designs for you to see. Uh, the full build guide can be found in our Discord. Uh, as well as multiple pictures, galleries. Uh, these things are tried and true. They're not OP in the slightest. Um, everything's revealed on how they're made. Uh, there's no funny business going on here. Uh, it's basically just a vertical drone, uh, as you can see. But it uses some very specific uh, mechanics from Speed Boost to be effective. And it requires a little bit further understanding on how speed works with um, how it works with thrusters between wings and how wings actually have a few characteristics that allow for this kind of build uh, now I'm kinda taking a risk here because I don't really want free jam to see these remaining things in the game that uh, allow this that could really easily be taken out and not affect their current parts but uh, I'm doing it anyway because I want everyone to be a part of this that was a uh, avid pilot of these but um, as you can see this one's really really good at uh, using that independent yaw control uh, full on pitch also the how flexible these things are once you understand the like the fundamental concepts of how these work uh, the possibilities are endless uh, they're not incredibly competitive but they do quite well uh, and they're but it makes up in how fun they are I mean if you are a purist and with flying planes and you really get into these uh, you'll find it that you're gonna have a lot of room to uh, grow with these um, they're not too hard to build, but they're really hard to get to be good in battle and competitive because they are not OP in the slightest. Uh, you're, you're spending a lot of CPU for uh, speed and not only your forward direction, but also your, your roll takes up about as much CPU as uh, eight redundant set of wings roughly uh, or let me let me say eight wings overall so that's four sets um, and that's full on albatross but with this you don't really need wings there the only thing wings do is set the base speed for your speed boost speed boost is very in important like I said this I'm, I'm just gonna reiterate it that you really need to look at the build guide to understand how speed boost benefits uh, this build type if you build a certain way um, and it's just inherent of how it works I'm not going to explain it here this is just a showcase of these things and how they work uh, here's another one classic uh, now I really like this one because it actually has more of a traditional plane kind of feel uh, the strafing and yaw thrusters are in the rear like a like a rudder so then the rear swings around as you can see and uh, it's not as agile because of 
the way wings more wings doesn't mean more agility in this it's actually inversely related uh, but they also come with more stability so there's all these trade-offs like speed speed boost roll speed stability um, and it's all independent per axis uh, the characteristics that you can give these things really depend on uh, how you start the build and where you want it to go towards. Uh, as you can see, this is like more of like a traditional plane setup with wings in the front and the rear. Um, that makes it very stable in the straight line, but also really hard to pitch and roll uh, because of the amount of wings you have. But uh, it also ha gives you that redundancy in battle. Uh, now, they're Generation 1. MK1. This is the first one I ever made. Of course, I decked it out in like premium stuff, uh, and then I did some testing. But uh, yeah, this one is a rear pitching roll rocket. Uh, this was my my first iteration. I didn't really know what I was doing, uh, but these have their own little touch too, because they pitch from the rear. They kind of feel like they have a rudder in the back, uh, and they're really fun to play with. But also, they really benefit from the yaw control as well uh, this one in particular so it's it's got everything here you could ever imagine it's very nimble but it's not very fast but then again if going back and looking at how speed boost works it's very apparent why it's not so fast and it's actually very easy to fix uh, but all these trade-offs CPU versus speed and also this trade-off you're getting for the agility if you learn to pilot these just like old planes uh, you can make up that difference in what you spent in the abilities you have these things can uh, dodge the lock-on missile launcher shots like it's nothing once you get the hang of it um, they aren't <laughs> they are pretty much disintegrated by rails as you can imagine uh, but it takes a really good rail to hit one if you can pilot these. That's, uh, that's the thing is that if you come across players that can't handle actually aiming, uh, then you're set. Uh, but also, it comes at the cost of its its overall. Uh, I guess you could say it's how well it sticks together. Now, here's another thing. This opens up a lot of old builds. I mean, here's a Chloe ball uh, using the same methods that are in, uh, told about in the build guide. And uh, here you go. That's uh, hard to pick up. There you go. Has the full roll and pitch. Works just like an old one. Uh, now, you're not just limited to very small and nimble builds, you can also make very tanky builds. Um, the first one I showed my jet features the uh, four electric plates, which can feel very heavy on a lot of builds, and the CPU spent on it, as you can see, uh, it's yeah, 1700, 14k of uh, health, and the 10% health boost. This number right here is irrelevant. Uh, that's also explained in the build guide, but uh, then again, just the only things that are actually applicable here is this, and then everything else has to be calculated and planned before you actually uh, take it out. Now, it does take a little bit to get the feeling of what all this means and what you end up getting at, but. Uh, that's why I'm releasing all this to you guys. Uh, we're going to make a Robo Engineering thread. We're going to get this going. Um, but let me see. One of the most large versions I've seen is actually built by Unit GX. And let me try to find it. Here it is. I've modified it a little bit, but uh, this was also based on the Gen 1. I guess you could say it's a rear pitching thruster setup 
Uh, it take, makes it a little bit more difficult to take off. That's okay. And uh, as you can see, even though it's a pretty heavy plane, uh, it's very agile. Uh, it's all in the balancing. It's it's just like old planes again. Uh, just because it's got a certain amount of health and it's got uh, this much weight doesn't really mean anything if you know what what kind of design it takes to actually um, consider all that kind of stuff and still make it fly good. So uh, I hope we can get something going with all this. Um, like I said, I'm concerned on FJ's opinion on these. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible and also explain that these are not OP in the slightest, but that also satisfies all those angry fighter pilots um, that aren't too thrilled with the old wings. So, kind of give us a break on this. Uh, so, I hope that you guys can all kind of accept this for what it is from Free Jam's point of view, and also I hope that the builders can uh, make these things fr uh, thrive and have a lot of fun. Bring back building and bring back traditional flying. Have a good day.